All right, so somebody asked about 20B. I'm just going to go over 20A really quickly because A and B are similar. We talked about in this section 2.2, okay? So FM 22.2. What we've talked about is relationships between angles. We talked about alternate exterior angles. We've talked about same side interior angles and vertically opposite angles and all that sort of stuff. What this question is asking is to solve for the unknown value of X. And you're given these two diagrams. So in 20A, um, there is a relationship between this angle and this angle. First of all, what are they called, those two angles? They are opposite exterior. Um, opposite exterior. OK, we're going to call them alternate exterior. Because opposite <coughs> angles are kind of, this is the opposite angle. These two angles would be opposite. So we're going to steer away from that opposite. If you said opposite side, I would kind of know what you mean. But we're going we're gonna to call that alternate. So yeah, alternate exterior angles is what they are. What's the relationship that we found in this section about alternate exterior angles? How are they related? They're equal, right? They're the same. So in 20A, how you set this up is you say, this angle, which is given by the algebraic expression 3x plus 10, I don't know what x is. don't even know what that angle is. doesn't matter. I can set up an equation to make it equal to 6x minus 14. Because I know that those two angles are equal, I set their expressions equal to each other, and we quickly solve, right? So let's get the x's together. Let's subtract 3x from both sides, and that gives us over here 3x. Let's also add 14 to both sides so that we can um, isolate x. So that's going to be 24. Here, divide both sides by 3. We get x equals 8. Did you get that for 20a? Does that look right? OK. So 20b is very similar then. So 20b, what we do is we know that this angle right here is expressed by this, and this angle right here is expressed by this, and what's the relationship between these two? Those angles are what? Sydney, you asked about that. They're supplementary, right. Okay, so what are supplementary angles? They both add up to what? Okay, so you take one angle, you add it to the other angle, and it should equal 180. So in order to solve for an unknown variable, again, the key is set up an equation. And what's the nature of that equation? 9x plus 32, this angle, plus this angle, 11x plus 8. Did I just write an h there? 11x plus 8 should equal 180. So we know that to be true, and now we can set up this equation. So 9x and 11x, that gives us a total of 20x's. 32 and 8 gives us uh, 40. So we're going to isolate the x. So get that x term by itself by subtracting 40 from both sides. We get 140 over here uh, divided by 20. I hope that phone's on the back table. Uh, divided by 20, what do we get? 14 divided by 20 is? The zeros cancel. 40 divided by 2 is 7. Okay. Now, you can plug 7 back in and find out exactly what those angle measures are, but the question doesn't ask that. If the question says, determine the angle measures in the diagram, then you would take it one step further, plug x into each expression, and find out what the angle measure is for each angle. Does that make sense? Now, I don't know if I went through that question too fast for you or what, but do you have any, any questions about that? Okay, so that's number 20 and 2.2, that's how you'd set up those questions.